Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Chirp and Wizard. In the previous video I showed you how you can uh, create new teams and uh, set them as uh, dynamic groups. This way, um, instead of uh, maintaining manually the users, it's maintained by uh, some Active Directory group or Microsoft 365 group. So let's see how we do it on an existing site. This is even um, very interesting. And let's show you what we have now. So I have a team which is called health team. I'll click on the three dots, do manage teams. Let's see who's a member here. So the owner is Ami Diamond and the guest is Lee and Patty. Now, as we said, we want to convert it to a dynamic group. So we need to go to the 365. And what we will do is go to the homepage, nine dots, Choose the admin. Now you need to have permissions to where I'm showing you. So if you don't, please request it. Uh, identity is what we want. I will log in. And now actually, what? first of all, I want to show you the security group, which I want to assign the team. So I will go to groups. I will choose all groups. And I will look for the security group I called it SecSPIT. I will copy this object ID because I will use it later. And let's just go in and see who are the members here. So we have here Alex and Megan. Uh, so this is what we expect instead of the uh, members that are in the team now. So we will go again to all groups. And now we will look for the team that we uh, want to assign it. So I will look for health. I will click on it. And what we need to do in the properties, we need to change the membership type. So currently it's assigned, but we can change it to dynamic. Once we do this, we can add a, a dynamic query. And here, actually, we can either add an expression and put a property, operation, and value, or we can uh, put the rule uh, syntax. So I'll click on edit. And what I will do is I will take this syntax just like in the previous video, and I put here the object ID of the sec SP IT. So let me copy it and paste it here. And our expectation is that once we uh, replace it, uh, the new uh, security group will be applied and not the manual. So if I click save now, I will get a reminder. After changing the group type, the existing members may be changed based on the dynamic membership. That's exactly what we want. Saving the group. So now actually to the three dots, Manage team, we will see that the members are now Alex and Megan instead of Paddy and uh, someone else. So uh, the experience worked. Um, now, what happens if we want, uh, for example, to reset it back? So, as we can, what we wanted. Uh, and by the way, if we try to remove them, we cannot remove it because it, it's now controlled by the Active Directory group. But in case we want to convert it back. So just like what we did, I'm in a team. I will go to the properties, change it back to assigned. No longer will we have the rule and then it will be back to how it was. So hopefully you learned something new. Uh, I showed you at the beginning uh, or explained to you how it is for existing and now um, and also how for a new group. So if you like my channel, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.